Canadair also make a totally different reconnaissance machine with jet engines and wings. Here is the CL-289, called the USD-502 by the NATO armies which use it. The whole system was developed by Canadair in partnership with Dornier of Federal Germany. SAT of France later joined to furnish an infrared sensor, as well as this radar, which was used to track the speeding vehicle during development flying. Like all battlefield systems, the 502 has to be fully mobile. The basic vehicle is mounted on a rail launcher. It takes only minutes to attach the wings and control surfaces and check everything. On an operational mission, no radar is used, and the USD-502 flies a computer-controlled trajectory according to an accurately worked out flight plan. Then, the launcher is adjusted to the correct bearing and elevation. The small turbojet of 240 pounds thrust is then started and run up to speed. When all is ready, the firing button is pressed. rocket blasts the vehicle off the ramp and at burnout drops away to the rear. What is left is small, agile, hard to detect and very fast. Cruising speed is around 500 miles per hour. On board are navigation and control subsystems which would do credit to many manned aircraft. They enable the vehicle to follow a flight plan worked out in exact detail, both horizontally and vertically. A typical sensor pack has a three-lens Zeiss camera and an infrared line scanner, both giving image resolution as good as that from larger and more vulnerable manned aircraft. Real-time pictures are sent back by secure digital link so that the ground commander can study the enemy's activity without delay. The computer not only handles navigation, but can also manage the sensors. To reduce vulnerability, this tiny jet aircraft can even hug the ground in a quasi-terrain following mode. On return, it detects and homes on a beacon near the launch site. A signal deploys a two-stage parachute. The CL-289 descends inverted and lands on two large airbags which cushion the impact. It is quickly recovered and driven away to be refurbished for another mission. 